Hey there and welcome to another edition of Unrolling the Roller. In today's Unrolling the Roller episode, I'm going to be covering the difference between a full pretension and a standard pretension and why I choose to go with a full pretension. First we'll look at the two setups using the graph that I showed you last week and um, after that we'll just go through some practical reasons why I prefer the full pretension over the standard one. Let's get into it. Okay, great. So what is the difference between a full pretension and a standard pretension? In Frontier, this is what I call standard pretension. It's what the Aussie guys mostly use and a couple manufacturers. You'll see the rubber is tensioned back only to about here on the gun and it uses a line to wrap around the loading lugs over here on the gun. Full pretension, the rubbers are stretched all the way back to the loading lugs over there, so they've stretched fully all the way to the back, so I just call it full pretension. Here we have the same graph that we used in the previous video to illustrate the difference between a conventional gun and a roller gun. This time I have a 110 centimeter gun, one with a full pretension and one with a standard pretension. The full pretension is based on a 60 centimeter 16 mil rubber. That's what I would use if I was going to put a 16 mil band onto the 110. And it ranges from 183% at the muzzle to 358%. Um, when loaded on the notch. Here we have the standard setup with the 55 centimeter 18 mil bands, pretension to 16.5 centimeters. That means that when these are relaxed, they would be here somewhere, right? And you wind these round to tension them up and you bring it back by 16 and a half centimeters to pretension it to 130% at the muzzle and 330% loaded at the notch. I chose these two guns because they have a very similar power output, very similar potential energy. The full pretension has 4,250 and this is 4,222 um, kgs per centimeter. First, let's look at the two setups. The full pretension has 25 kilos on the muzzle and I'll just put an F there for full pretension and 52 kilos when loaded on the notch. The standard pretension has just over 17 kilos on the, on the muzzle and when fully loaded has almost 60 kilos at the notch. So straight away, before we consider anything else, the two major differences between these guns is the angle of this line. The full pretension this one over here has a much flatter line than your standard pretension. This will mean that the standard pretension has more recoil and it does. When you shoot them in a pool, it, yes, it's got way less than a conventional gun, but for a roller gun, it still has a fair amount of kick. This is going to mean that your full pretension is going to be a much smoother shot with less recoil. That means your gun is going to be more accurate. The chances of you flinching or having to try double hand um, you avoid all those things with going full pretension. The other advantage of a full pretension setup is that your rubber lengths are preset. You're, you're loading them onto the, onto the same lugs every single time and your gun should perform the same way every single time. And as soon as there's no consistency, it's very difficult to dial your equipment in. Okay, let's take that down. Just looking at the standard pretension, we've seen on the graph that by pretensioning it like this with the lines, you reduce the amount of load on the muzzle, on the bridle on the muzzle. This does make it easier to load 16 mil and 80 mil rubbers by hand without using a load assist, but it makes the gun act more like a conventional gun than a well set up fully pretensioned roller. There is a little bit of recoil. Aside from the fact that this kind of setup does have more recoil than a full pretension uh, roller gun, winding these lines up to pretension the rubbers is not something that's exact. And that's what I see. I see on, on YouTube and Instagram, I see guys with setups on their guns where these rubbers are way too loose or too long. And it just means that there's too many variables and this is why guys battle with roller guns. So for me, this setup is just way too complicated. Another real big 
factor why I prefer a fully pretensioned um, setup is that to depower the gun, it's really simple. You know, you just take those, the rubbers off and to put it back on, they just go straight back onto the lugs. There's no lines to wind up or change. You can change your rubbers in, in a few seconds. This, you know, you've got to unwind everything, untie the whole lot. And half the time, I've noticed that guys just leave them pre-tensioned because it's too much of a hassle to um, detension the guns. Why do you think it is that guys and manufacturers still are using the standard setup? It's for this one reason, is that the guys don't want to use a load assist or don't know how to use a load assist. In the next episode, I'm going to help you get your head around using a load assist. I'm going to show you which load assists work and some practical tips on where to stow them, how to use them. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I will either answer them there in the comments or answer them in future videos as we go along through the series. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.